Who's ready for an intriguing video all about owls? Known for their big round eyes, silent flight, and haunting calls in the night, owls have captured not just prey, but also the human imagination for centuries. Because of their nocturnal habits, owls are one of the most mysterious and fascinating birds in the world. But what makes them such amazing hunters? Can they really turn their necks all the way around? And are they as wise as legend would have you believe? In this video, we'll look deep into those big eyes and explore all about owls. Owls are birds of prey, which means they are hunters. Like hawks and eagles, they eat meat, using their sharp talons and strong beaks to catch their food. But unlike most other birds of prey, owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake and active at night. This lifestyle makes them unique and perfectly adapted for hunting in the dark. Many people think owls can spin their heads in a full circle, but that's not true. Owls can turn their heads about 270 degrees, which is three quarters of the way around. This is still much further than humans can turn their heads, and it helps them to look around for prey without moving their whole body. They have this ability because their neck bones are specially shaped and their blood vessels are designed to keep blood flowing even when the neck twists. So they don't technically have eyes in the back of their heads, but you certainly would have a hard time sneaking up on them from behind. There are over 200 species of owls, and they live in many different habitats across the world. From forests and grasslands to deserts and even cities, the only place you won't find owls is Antarctica, since it's too cold and icy for them to survive. Owls come in a wide variety of sizes and appearances. The smallest owl is the elf owl, which is only about 5 inches tall and weighs less than an ounce. That's small enough to fit in your hand. On the other end of the scale is the Eurasian Eagle Owl, one of the largest owls in the world, with a wingspan of over six feet and powerful talons that can take down large prey. Between these two extremes, there are many different owl species, each adapted to their unique environment with different feather patterns, colors, and hunting styles. In the Harry Potter series, Harry's owl is a snowy owl named Hedwig. She has bright white feathers and amber eyes. While owls don't deliver packages in the real world, snowy owls are real owls. They live in the Arctic where their white color blends in. Unlike many other owls, they are often active during the day. Screech owls are small owls that live in North and South America. Despite their name, they don't actually screech. Their calls are more like soft trills or whinnies. They are excellent at blending into trees because their feathers are brown or gray with patterns that look just like bark. Screech owls are skilled hunters eating insects, small mammals, and even other birds. The great horned owl is one of the most powerful owls, named for the feather tufts on the top of its head that make it look like horns. They can take down prey much larger than themselves. Barn owls are my favorite. They're easy to recognize with their heart-shaped faces, pale feathers, and dark eyes. They are found all over the world and are especially good at hunting in the dark because of their excellent hearing. Barn owls often live near farms or fields where they help control rodent populations by eating mice and rats. Their eerie screeches and ghostly appearance at night have made them the subject of many myths and legends. Speaking of myths and legends, now that we have met some owls, let's address an age-old myth about them. Are owls wise? Owls are often thought of as wise, but this idea mostly comes from myths and stories and not from science. Ancient Greeks connected owls with Athena, the goddess of wisdom, which is one reason they became symbols of intelligence. In reality, owls are skilled hunters with excellent eyesight and hearing, but their brains are actually smaller when compared to some other birds. While owls are not unintelligent, birds like crows and parrots are much better at solving puzzles and learning new tasks. So while owls may look thoughtful with their big eyes and calm stares, if you're looking for advice, you should really ask a crow. Or better yet, a parrot, since a parrot might actually be able to answer you. While their intelligence is the stuff of legend, their hunting abilities are a scientific fact. Owls are built for survival, especially at night. 
let's go over some of their most amazing adaptations. While eagles have the best eyesight of the birds, owls' eyesight is nothing to scoff at. Owls have enormous eyes that help them see in low light. Their eyes are so large that they can't move them in their sockets. Instead, owls turn their heads around to look around. They also have very good hearing. Many owls have asymmetrical ears, meaning that one ear is higher than the other. This helps them to pinpoint the exact location of sounds, even down to a tiny rustle of a mouse in the grass. Something owls are famous for is that you don't hear them coming. Unlike most birds, owls have special feathers with soft edges that muffle the sounds of their wings. This lets them fly silently, sneaking up on prey without being heard. Like many other raptors, owls have hooked beaks and curved talons. When you zoom in on those feet, they truly look like their dinosaur ancestors. Their strong, sharp talons help them to catch prey quickly, and their hooked beaks allow them to tear apart their food. Speaking of food, owls are carnivores, and their diet depends on their size and habitat. Most owls eat small mammals like mice, voles, and rabbits. Others eat birds, fish, insects, and even reptiles. One fascinating thing about owls is that they often swallow their prey whole. Since they can't digest bones, fur, or feathers, owls vomit these parts back up. These are called owl pellets. School children often dissect these small, compact balls made of the parts owls can't digest. Scientists and students can study owl pellets to learn what the owl has been eating. Not all owls make the classic whoo sound that people often imagine. In fact, different owl species have different calls. Some, like the great horned owl, do give the deep whoo whoo call that we commonly associate with owls. However, other owls make hisses, screeches, barks, whistles, or even trills. It can sound very scary in the forest at night, but it's probably not Bigfoot, it's probably an owl. For example, barn owls are known for their eerie, high-pitched screech instead of a hoot. And screech owls usually make a whinnying or trilling sound. Each call has a purpose, such as defending territory, warning off predators, or communicating with a mate. So while many people think that owls say who, the truth is that owls have far more diverse and fascinating calls. Owls can be found all over the world, in forests, deserts, grasslands, and even cities. They build nests in tree hollows, cliffs, and the abandoned nests of other birds. Some species, like the burrowing owl, even live underground in tunnels dug by prairie dogs or other animals. Because owls are so widespread, different cultures have connected them with many meanings. In ancient Greece, as we've already discussed, the owl was a symbol of wisdom. While in other cultures, owls were thought to bring warnings or represent mystery because of their silent flight, glowing eyes, and haunting calls at night. Many people connected owls with the unknown since they are most active in the dark, a time often linked to secrets and danger. In some traditions, an owl's hoot was believed to signal bad luck or even death, while in others, it was seen as a sign of that hidden knowledge or a message from the spirit world was near. Now, it's time for some fun and fascinating facts about owls, but before we do, thank you so much for watching this far. Remember that it's free to subscribe, like, and comment, and it really helps out the channel. If you're a teacher or homeschooling parent, check out my educational resources. The link is in the description. And now, on to some fun facts about owls. A group of owls is called a parliament. However, most owls are solitary birds, which means they usually live and hunt alone. They prefer to keep their own space, especially when searching for food, since sharing could mean less meat. Short-eared owls and burrowing owls are known to gather in small groups, especially during the winter or when they roost together for warmth and protection. Owls can live about 25 to 30 years in the wild, with some having shorter or longer lifespans depending on the species. The great horned owl has the longest lifespan of any owl. It's able to live over 50 years in captivity. Owls don't actually have round eyes. Their eyes are actually tube-shaped, which gives them powerful vision. Owls are excellent parents. Like many other bird species, they tend to mate for life, though this is not universal among owls. After mating, both males and females work hard to protect and feed their chicks.
Owls are very helpful on farms because they eat pests that can damage crops. A single owl can catch dozens of mice or rats in just one night, keeping rodent populations under control. They also keep smaller fruit-eating birds away. This natural pest control helps farmers protect their fields without needing to use as many chemicals or traps. By having owls around, farms can stay healthier and more balanced. Owls are more than just mysterious nightbirds. They're incredible hunters, skilled survivors, and fascinating creatures with unique adaptations. From the tiny elf owl to the majestic snowy owl, each species has its own story to tell. Tell me in the comments, what's your favorite nocturnal animal? Mine is the raccoon. I think they are so cute and smart and their little hands are just so adorable. What about you? If you're interested in nocturnal animals, check out my other video all about another famous night flyer, the bat. Thank you for watching and don't forget to get messy and make lots of mistakes today. Bye!